Hello, hello, everyone. Tashina Gonzalez, your favorite holistic wellness, business, self-development, empowerment, and success coach. And I'm super, super excited for everyone that's here to join us for our healthy habits class, as well as everyone that's going to watch the replay. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into tonight's presentation, where we talk about healthy habits for the new year. So let me go ahead and minimize this and get rid of the controls. So again, for anyone that watches the replay and perhaps does not know me well yet, Oh, you can't hear me? Yeah, you're very low. Okay, let me see if I can turn up a volume over here. Okay, can you hear me now? Maybe see if you can turn up the volume on your side. So again, this is our healthy habits for the new year class. Um, I'm certified in various things such as nutrition, um, achievable weight loss, aromatherapy, herbs, naturopathy, and I'm always hashtagging let food be thy medicine. Um, so when it comes to our healthy habits, there are three keys that we're going to hop into. And I have been there before. I have been where I let my busy life get in the way of my healthy habits and then close to 190 pounds back in 2014. And thankfully, since then, I've been able to exercise regularly, eat fairly well. And so I'm going to be sharing a few basic tips that most everybody already knows about, but will hopefully be some good reminders to set you on track for this new year coming up, like people usually do, setting those goals, as well as some tools that if you are not implementing and using right now, you need to implement immediately. So just remember, fit is not a destination, it's a way of life. So we want to make it a lifestyle. We're not trying to do some particular diet just for a little while to get some results, but it's all about making sure that we have a healthy fit lifestyle. So what are some things we want to do to empower our weight management? Well, keys to an effective transformation are identify where you are, find out where you should be or want to be, and make better choices. And you're going to focus on three areas of empowerment healthy eating, physical activity, and focus supplementation. And be sure to track your progress along the way. So you want to make sure that you are setting clear goals so that you know you can achieve them. And what really is a good goal? Well, that is a SMART goal. If you choose to have resolutions, a SMART resolution is not a basic statement or a wish. It is a clearly drawn pathway to success and a way to state not just what you want, but what you will do to accomplish it. So what is first specific? Clearly define your goal. Make it as specific as possible and write down exactly why you want to achieve this goal. Make your goal measurable. Whatever you want to achieve, make sure you have a way of measuring when you meet your goal. Make it achievable. Is your goal achievable in a lot of time? What steps must you take in order to achieve this goal? Make it realistic. Be realistic about how long it'll take to reach your goal and the steps you're taking to get there. And make sure it is time stamped. Time sensitive goals are more likely to be achieved, whereas a loose thought will get piled behind a to do list that keeps growing. Now, you want to focus on eating the right foods. We're going to avoid empty calories. So, take a look right now. Right now is a good time to take a look at your pantry, take a look at the way that you're grocery shopping, take a look at the way you're eating, and just make a pact with yourself. Don't bring those empty calories in the house. Like I will hear people, I will talk to people, I have clients and they'll be like, oh, cookies is my downfall or ice cream is my downfall. And I'm like, why? Like, don't bring it into the house. Like, if I want to have junk food, like, I have to force myself to drive to a gas station to get it. Just avoid the empty cal calories. Hydrate. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. That's half of your body weight plus 20 ounces 
every single day. So important. Eat foods that satiate or keep you full. And those type of foods are the ones that are going to be nutrient dense, nutrient rich. So fuel your body with the right foods, vegetables, lots of vegetables, the right kind of fruits, whole grains, including ancient grains, and a variety of lean protein. You want to practice portion control. Very, very important. If you don't know what a good portion of something is, measure or weigh your food for a while until you get what a good portion is. Try eating off smaller plates. Divide your plate into half veggies and fruits, one quarter lean protein, and one quarter of a healthy starch. Eat mindfully. I have an entire video about intuitive eating and portion out small amounts to eat and drink. Now, physical activity. Eating right is so important. They really say that 70% of weight loss, if that is your goal, really is with your eating. So it's so important to hone that down. But physical activity also is an important key and it has so many benefits. So get moving, whatever your current physical activity is. Scientific studies show that physical activity <clears throat> excuse me, helped you maintain your weight, can reduce risk of heart disease, stroke, control blood glucose levels, strengthen bones and muscles, helps with arthritis, improves mood and relieves stress, and increases your chances of living longer. Some additional keys to success. You want to fill the void. Many snack when they are bored. Fill your time with hobbies and activities you enjoy. Make time for yourself. Don't let life get in the way. Do not use your busy life as an excuse to do some of those habits that we talked about that we're going to get rid of, such as eating junk food. Find workouts that you actually enjoy. I love dancing. So one of the things that I'll do is maybe some dance cardio on my Wii U. I will find really fun uh, videos that I can do. So find workouts that you actually enjoy. I like going for walks when it's warm enough <laughs> so that I can experience nature. Find workouts that you are going to do because you enjoy them. And then support is everything. Studies have shown that attending support groups and having a strong social network helps people lose weight and keep it off. That's part of what we're doing tonight. A lot of this stuff you guys already know, but you're showing up to prove to yourself that you're serious about your healthy goals as you make some goals going into this new year. So if you see somebody doing a challenge, join their challenge. If they have a Facebook group, join their Facebook group. Get a personal trainer, get a coach, get a mentor. Um, I coach a lot of people in um, having healthy eating habits and setting the exercise plan as well through my holistic wellness coaching. And then eat right for your body. If you are not using our amazing Zytal Insights Scan, you need to immediately message me after this and make sure you get it. It is just so life-changing to ask your body what it needs. I have done this with dozens and dozens of people this year, and most of the people are eating healthy, and they don't know why they can't lose weight, and they're eating healthy. And they don't know why they don't have any energy. And what I'm finding is they're not getting enough variety and they're not eating the right things for their body. So most people need to modify. So yes, you may have found that keto is the best way for you or vegan is the best way for you, but you can do some more refinement and really figure out what foods will give you the most amount of nutrition. I do a very detailed analysis of this scan with my clients and we go over it for about 30 minutes together. And right now I have it as at an incredibly ridiculously low price through the end of the year. My launch price for this year of 2021 was $50. It's going up to a hundred dollars next year. So make sure by the 31st, if this is something that you're interested in, that you get with me immediately. And then we have the adaptability supplement scan. So when you pay that $50, you get two scans, 
One is an advanced food scan and the other one is your supplement scan. And that is going to tell you what essential oils, what proteins, what vitamins, what supplements, what herbs your body really needs in order to fill any gaps. Because here in the United States, we're just not getting the same amount of nutrition out of our food. Or you could be like me and have lots of allergies. I'm allergic to all fish, seafood, tree nuts, coconut, and mildly to dairy. So I have to supplement some things like my omegas and healthy fats to make up for that. So here's my testimony, why I say that this scan is life-changing. So I was going to functional medicine in order to work on my hormone issue that I had, and they told me to go vegan. So I started eating vegan in December of last year, 12 months ago. And when I went to the doctor in February from eating as vegan as possible, this is what I look like on the left-hand side. My, I had no iron in my system, which I don't have a picture of that. And all of my hemoglobin and red blood cell levels were dangerously low because I am certified holistic wellness coach. I was actually compensating for a lot of this. I did not feel terrible. I should not have been able to walk for they didn't know how I was standing up with how low my hemoglobin was. It was at 7.1. If I would have went into the hospital and stated that I had an issue, they would have immediately ordered a blood transfusion for me. That's what a terrible condition my body was in from eating vegan, from eating healthy, but not eating the right things for my particular body. So I went to, um, to hematology. And they told me, of course, to start eating some meat. So I now eat usually when I'm at home, when I, when I go traveling, I do pretty much whatever I want. Or if people give me free food, I do what I want. But when I'm at home, I usually eat vegan, vegetarian, vegan, and then carnivore on the week where my body needs more iron. So as you can see, again, my red blood counts was low. My hemoglobin, dangerously low. My hematocrit was low. And if I were to show you my iron, I had no iron in my system on all of those. I started eating what my body asked for. I started using this scan. And four months later, I made sure that I was taking my Ninja Red, which is an amazing antioxidant superfruit drink that everybody needs to be on because it helps every system in the body. It makes everything more bioavailable. You get more out of your food. And another liquid iron supplement called Floretics. I started taking those instead of synthetic iron in order to get my iron and, and blood counts up. And you can see form, and I ate what my body wanted. And you can see my red blood count was normal, 4.71. My hemoglobin, 13.6. I feel amazing when I'm 13.5 or higher. My hematocrit was high at 41.1%. So this is why I state that this scan is something everyone needs and it's life-changing because it literally changed my life. Now, one thing that I'm going to start doing January 15th is I'm going to be posting these little graphics for a 15-day sleek challenge. Sleek is a product line that we have that is built for weight management. And I'm not going to read all these to you today, but I'm just going to share a little bit of what I'll be posting then. And if anyone wants to get these graphics and join me, because we talked about that social wellness, that community, getting some support, I can gladly share them with you and we can post them together. Or you could just watch my stories for then. So the first day, what we're going to concentrate on is focusing on ourselves. And then the second day, reminding of food wholesome, nutrient-dense food. The third day, visualization and the emotional aspect of it, inhaling, exhaling, and really thinking about where we're going to go with our goals. And then the next day, talking about exercise, remembering that exercise is such a key importance and all of the benefits of it. Happiness boosts our mood, reduces so many negative things physical ailments. And then day five, it's just an overview of some of the tools and supplements that can be used if you so choose to support yourself. Sleek Essence is a 
uh, uh, some drops that you can add to water that combine some essential oils and stevia and can help control hunger. There's the Sleek Shake, which is a vegan sh shake that has a variety of vitamins, minerals, fruits, and vegetable extracts. It can be used as a breakfast. It'll keep you full for about three hours or a snack between meals. There's our Sleek Tea, which is an exotic drink that's formulated with natural ingredients to help support individual weight loss. The Sleek Bars, which are a nutritious snack that features a medley of exotic fruits, nuts, and essential oils to help you curb cravings and feel full longer. <clears throat> the sleep gum, which helps control food cravings and improves oral health. And then there's kits where you can get a few of these combined. Some other things that you can do, just some goals on day six, is to start a good morning routine with some suggestions there. And then day seven, focusing on the positive. Again, making sure that we, we know this part of this is mindset as well. Then building our belief, doing some affirmations such as I am capable, I can do hard things, I'm strong as I practice, my skills will grow, I'm free of limiting beliefs, I'm proud of who I am on day eight. Day nine, just congratulating yourself and having confidence that you're able to finish because you're halfway done, over halfway done. And then day 10, remembering that one important aspect is also environmental wellness, making sure that we are not putting toxic burden on our bodies by having toxins in our cleaners, laundry soap, lotion, shampoo, makeup, things of that nature. And day 11, making sure that we get good sleep. Good sleep is so important to healthy weight management and healthy health overall. Day 12, Making sure that we remember that releasing toxic things does not only mean toxic chemicals, but toxic people and relationships and thoughts from our life as well for emotional wellness. Day 13, reminding us again to drink our water and how we can spice that up with all of our vitality oils like lemon, orange, citrus fresh, tangerine, grapefruit, lime, and peppermint. <coughs> and it'll also increase the electrolytes in our body. Day 14, remembering that being calm is part of emotional wellness and our overall health. Health. So we want to be creating a peaceful environment. And day 15, writing down how you feel that day, congratulating yourself for completing the challenge. And again, this is something I'm personally going to start on January 15th. If you watch the replay and would like these, I can send them to you so that you can join me or simply watch them in my stories. And that is what I had to share with you guys. Very quick reminders for how we can achieve our healthy habits in this new year. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to follow me, subscribe, hit notifications on YouTube, just my name, Tashina Gonzalez, where you will find the replay of this and over 1,000 videos in English and Spanish on health and wellness, leadership, and business. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook, I do a Feel Good Friday live every Friday, Sweet Canela 5. You can find my additional classes at facebook.com, beta.life. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Sweet Canela. And you can find my website there, beta.life. And with that, thank you guys so much for being here. I look forward to chatting with you in the future as we have some more amazing classes coming later this month.